Hi, <clears throat> I'm James Heimbach, the product manager for the testing group at GitLab. Uh, today, I'm going to just walk through a new feature that will be part of the 13.12 release, and it's available already on GitLab.com today. And that's a link to a failed screenshot attachment if, if a test is configured to capture a screenshot on failure. Um, so what we hear from developers, what we heard was that it's great that we could capture screenshots and include them as an artifact in GitLab, but they're buried in the artifacts of a build. So they're really hard to find and they're unattached. So you still have to hunt and peck and figure out how it relates to a test. Uh, so to resolve that, we implemented this feature. So here to just quickly show it off, Here's a merge request uh, for one of our demo projects that you can take a look at, and it has a test that has failed. This test is configured to take a screenshot on failure. Uh, so this feature is available in the full test report today on the pipeline page. So in the test report here, we can look and see we have a test failure. And if we look at our details, we see that we did capture as an artifact, a job artifact, a screenshot here. So our test was expecting that the title of this page was fail, it was not fail, and so the test failed. And so it grabbed the screenshot and attached it, or grabbed it as an artifact and uploaded it. And now it's here in GitLab and much more easily accessible uh, to the user. So you can see what actually was displayed on the page, as long as you understand the test and see really what is going on. So you can write a better bug description or if you're a developer, uh, more quickly fix that bug. So we hope that uh, you enjoy this new feature. We're looking forward to your feedback. And for our next iteration, we'll be bringing the same functionality to the modal in the test summary report on the merge request page. Thanks.